Before I begin, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous materials on the topic of my special order. Without objection, so ordered. Tonight is a night about accountability, about taking responsibility. Many of my colleagues that will speak here tonight were sent by districts, of people who wanted to hold this government accountable in the areas of both fiscal and social arena. You know, think back today that was unplanned on June the 15th, 1775, 240 years ago this very day, George Washington accepted the position as commander in chief of the Continental Army. Washington was serving in the Second Continental Congress as a delegate from Virginia when his peers voted unanimously to hand him the reins of the entire Revolutionary Army. About a hundred paces from where I'm standing, at the back of these chambers, standing in the Capitol's rotunda is the history of how America was birthed into existence. It is displayed through the most glorious artwork. Of all those paintings in the rotunda, I am most intrigued by John Trumbull's work on Washington submitting his resignation in 1783. After completing his assignment through struggles and severe setbacks, more than eight years after accepting the position. Now, while some of these paintings depict those of conquests or discoveries, this particular work captures the great character of Washington. You see, Congress had granted Washington the powers equivalent to a dictator. Yet the humility and the wisdom of Washington understood that for a republic to survive, it must be held accountable by the people. His resignation that day stated this, I resign with satisfaction the appointment I accepted with diffidence or lack of self-confidence in my own abilities to accomplish so arduous a task, which, however, was superseded by a confidence in the rectitude of our cause, the support of the supreme power of the Union, and the patronage of heaven. You see, Washington had resolved that a citizen-ruled government, though different than others in the past, had a chance to do something, to be something, something exceptional. 240 years ago today, Washington laid the cornerstone of freedom through accountability to the people with a unique blessing from the divine power of heaven. That's why we've assembled tonight to talk about what Washington's vision was, a citizen-ruled government that would hold the federal government and this administration accountable.